the devil ride. He's only gonna wanna drive. coming 2013 it all started a few years back with the gift of a homemade coffee can diddly bow two string guitar presented to me during a concert I literally took it in my hands tuned it up started playing rolling and tumbling and have done so at every show since My friend C6 Steve knows our history of growing up in North Mississippi with R.L. Burnside, Junior Kimbrough, Otha Turner, and the ghost of Fred McDowell. C6 told me, he said, you are the one, boy, you are the link. You have to keep it primitive and take it to the people. Make the blues a turn on for younger kids again. I realized I've not been holding up my end of the deal. The masters took me in, Fred McDowell's funeral in utero, both the Turner's ancient farmyard life wisdom, R.O. Burnside and Kenny Brown hiring me and teaching me how to take it on the road and tour. Sunday nights at Junior Kimbrough's juke joint taught me how to never clear the dance floor, but I get caught up in my own personal trips and songwriting especially leads me astray. At this point in time, I realized it was now or never, life or death for Hill Country, North Mississippi Blues. Uh, it was amazing uh, experiencing that, you know, firsthand and being right there and seeing RL and them play. And then we would go down to Junior Kimbrough's uh, juke joint, which was just right down the street from our place. And on Sunday night, there was nothing else to do, you know, and we were, that was just what we did for fun. We gathered the troops for a united affront. Dwayne and Gary Burnside, Kenny Brown, Alvin Youngblood Hart, Sade Thomas, Otha Turner's granddaughter, my favorite musician in the world sings and plays the fife and plays the drums. We wanted this record to be a cultural statement, not just a collection of songs. This was an opportunity for us to, to really make our masterpiece. With World Boogie is Coming, we definitely set out to go in the studio and just make a definitive piece once and for all. You know, I just felt like in this right now, it was just make it or break it, solidify a statement, you know, like a proclamation, just like a, a declaration of like, you know, we're still here. <laughs> Never claim to be a blues man, but it is time to take the blues into the future. It has already happened. There is no need to be a purist anymore. This Mississippi rock and roll is the blues. We are here in Mississippi, recording in a barn with third and fourth generation blues musicians. This is the blues, world boogie. It's like a new beginning and it's like a return to home and, and, and return to our beginnings and to try and start fresh in a weird way. It just felt real important to do it like that. I feel like we really uh, were able to identify our signature sound. These are definitely um, milestone uh, pieces and like a cornerstone record for us. But it's not a bookend by any means. We're, we're right in the middle somewhere. World Boogie is a buck of white term that our father and his bohemian folk crew of the late 60s entered into the vernacular as they interacted with Buck of Furry Lewis, Mississippi Fred, Sleepy John, and Reverend Robert Wilkins. It was a Memphis cultural collision of the blues rediscovery of cats and the young white Memphis musicians. Not like Free Beer Tomorrow, 
World Boogie comes and goes, and comes back again. World Boogie is coming is a phrase my dad used a lot. It was, it was his sign off, and it's always resonated with me and with a lot of people, you know. Um, we miss him so much, and it's definitely an homage to him. And uh, World Boogie is coming comes from uh, the way our father used to always sign his letters. It's one of his favorite sayings. And, you know, I do think that sort of symbolically it leans towards the, uh, the experience and the wisdom that uh, me and Luther have, have uh, this, this amazing journey that we've gone on together, you know, and, and sort of where it's taken us and, and where we're going to go. Yes, we will, girl. Recorded at our home base, the barn, Jim Dickinson's Zebra Ranch. We bought new computer gear and a one inch eight track tape machine. Instead of locking the doors and getting into a personal secretive creative trip of new songs and experimental directions, we invited everyone from home and did what we do best. Turned it up to 10 and threw down some nasty Mississippi rock and roll. Please don't leave me right now. We wanted to get back to the place where we could capture what we were uh, doing live. Cody was like, look man, let's record what we do live. He's like, that's what works for us is when we record what we play every night, you know? And we're just knocking it out just like a live performance and I'm singing and playing live for pretty much the whole record is just like raw. But then he'll get in there and, and, and do such a nice pro job producing the tracks and adding to it or like even building beats that, that we play along with. It was really fun to, to bring in, uh, to do my thing like totally raw on top of a more little modern approach that Cody brought to it. Cody had discovered a love of filmmaking and knows that in this day and age you need multimedia. So he set out to use our landscape of modern day Mississippi and road work experiences to share with the audiences. A vision, a dreamscape, and documentary of our world. Using projection at our live shows, we wanted the records package to have as much visual content as possible. I think specifically with this record, we're, uh, we're doing a lot of video work. We've, we've already shot three. We have three finished videos for this record that, um, that are, are real exciting and real cool, and I think that'll lead to some new and exciting things for us. With the record itself being cinematic, almost a soundtrack, the recording itself fell together beautifully with that intent. We mic'd up the whole studio. Footsteps, rain, wind, talking, bugs and birds all played their part. Archival tapes of Otha and R.L. Burnside fell right into pocket as soon as we transferred them, laughing, joking, and jamming with their own kids, transcending time and space, life and death. The fight is coming. World Boogie is coming. World Boogie is coming.